Number 10, the position vector r equals to 5t in the i direction plus et plus ft squared in the j direction locates a particle as a function of time t. So this is the position vector of the particle. Vector r is in meters, t is in seconds, and factors e and f are constants. This figure over here gives the angle of the particle's direction of travel as a function of t. Theta is measured from the positive x direction. What are letter A E and letter B F including units? So the first thing that you have to notice is that this graph over here does not point to the vector, the vector R, it points to the vector of the velocity of the particle because it points to the direction of the movement of the particle. So for example, let's say this is our coordinate axis over here. Let's say this is our vector R. So in this position, let's suppose that the particle is moving in this direction. So of course, the direction of the movement is not the direction of vector R, correct? So this is 90 degrees, right? This is 90 degrees. And not this angle over here, this small angle over here. So this graph over here points to the direction of the velocity of the particle. So we can find the velocity of the particle by taking the derivative of vector r. And in this case, this is equal to 5 in the i direction plus e plus 2ft in the j direction. So this is the velocity of the particle. Okay, so this is the equation that we are using now. So let's remember that the angle of a vector, let's say vector velocity, is equal to the y component of the vector over the x component of the vector. And in our case, this is tangent to the minus 1 of e plus 2 times ft over 5. Okay, so we can use this equation to solve this problem over here. So let's use the information from this graph. We know that when t is equal to 0, the angle is equal to 35 degrees because each step over here is equal to 5 degrees. So let's use this information over here. So we know that 35 degrees, which is the angle theta, is equal to the tangent of minus 1. And in this case, t is equal to 0. So it's just e over 5. So we can reverse this. So tangent of 35 degrees is equal to e over 5. So e is equal to 5 tangent of 35 degrees. And this is equal. So let's see. This is equal to 3.5. And now we have to decide the unit. So this term over here must be meters per second. This term over here must be meters per second. And this term over here must be meter per second. Since E is alone, its unit is meters per second. Okay, so this is the answer of letter A. For letter B, we have to find F. So we are going to use the other zero over here, which is this one. We know that when the angle is zero, the uh, the time is let's see one two three four five so which steps two seconds so this is 40 seconds so we know that when theta equals to zero equals to zero t is equal to 14. okay so that's what we are going to use now so let's go again to this equation so let's invert this so tangent of the angle is equal to e plus 2 ft over 5 we already know e how much it is e so let's isolate f so 5 tangent of the angle is equal to e plus 2 times ft so f is equal to 5 times the tangent of the angle minus e over 2 times t. So now we have that when, well, let's replace from, from the data that we have. So f 
is equal to 5 times the tangent of 0. The tangent of 0 is 0 as well, so this term goes away. So this goes away. Minus e over 2 times 14. So f is equal to minus 3.5 over 28, which is equal to minus 0 0.125. We have to decide the unit since this is seconds and we must have meters per second f must be in meters per second squared and that's it for letter b